In today's video, I'm gonna tell you about the seven features that might make you want to triple your Microsoft 365 licensing costs by using a product called Microsoft 365 E5. So let's get cracking. Now, if you're a regular watcher of my YouTube channel, you will know that I am a massive fan of a Microsoft 365 license called Microsoft 365 Business Premium. We recommend this product to all of our customers. It is packed full of features that your business needs. You've got email, you've got cloud storage, you've got collaboration tools such as Teams, you've got productivity tools like To-Do and Planner, and you've got a load of security that your business needs to help keep you protected. Now, Microsoft 365 Business Premium costs £18.10 per license per month. So why am I stood here talking about another Microsoft 365 product? Well, in my view, Microsoft 365 Business Premium is the baby brother of the granddaddy of Microsoft 365 products. And the granddad is called Microsoft 365 E5. Now, Microsoft 365 E5 costs a jaw-dropping £52.40 per user per month. That is nearly three times as much as Business Premium. So what are the features in E5 that are gonna make you pay three times as much to upgrade? Now, there are so many differences between E5 and Business Premium. If I was gonna create a video on all of these differences, this video might be like an hour and a half long. So what I've done is I've condensed them all into my top seven features that might make you want to hit on that upgrade button. So in this video, we're gonna cover storage. We're gonna talk about using your phone system in Teams. We're gonna talk about email security, endpoint security, Power BI Pro, Microsoft Entra, and Endpoint DLP. So we've got a lot to discuss. So let's just get started. So the first thing to mention before I get onto all those features is that the Microsoft 365 E5 that E stands for enterprise, and Microsoft class an enterprise as having more than 300 users. So if your business has got 301 users, you can't use Microsoft 365 Business Premium. You have to use the enterprise products. But if you've got fewer than 300 users, you've got a choice. So firstly, let's talk about storage, and in particular, email. With Business Premium, you get a 50 gig mailbox per license. With E5, that is doubled. You get a 100 gig mailbox. Now, both of these are fairly big mailboxes. To give you an idea of space, I've run a business for about 17 years, and my mailbox is 31 gig. But we have lots of customers who have huge mailbox. They're hoarders, so they need to go for something bigger than 50 gig. Now, let's keep on the topic of storage and talk about OneDrive and SharePoint. With both packages, you get the same space when it comes to SharePoint. You get one terabyte of space per tenant and then 10 gig per license. But the difference happens with OneDrive. With Business Premium, you get one terabyte of space, but with E5, it's classed as unlimited, but I think it's more like five terabytes. So if you're a bit of a hoarder, then E5 might be for you. Now, what happens if you want to use Microsoft Teams as your business phone system? Yes, you really can. Now, to achieve that, to start with, you need a base license called Teams Phone Standard. Now, that comes included with E5 but it doesn't come included with Business Premium. You can add it onto Business Premium, but it will cost you an extra £6.60 per user per month. Now, moving on to Power BI. What happens if you're a business who wants to get better insights from the data in your business? Well, you could use a product called Power BI Pro. The BI stands for Business Intelligence. Power BI is a tool that helps you grab various bits of data from different areas of your business and pull it all together. From there, you can analyze it, visualize it, and share it. You will get better insights into your business. Now, Power BI Pro is included with Microsoft 365 E5. Of course it is. 
But again, like Teams Phone Standard, it's an add-on to Business Premium, and it will cost you an extra £8.20 per user per month. Now you can see that all these packages are ramping up the price, but we've still got a long way to go before we get to £52.40 per user per month. Now the rest of it really is about security. Microsoft 365 E5 contains all the top security that Microsoft has to offer. Let's talk a little bit now about what that includes. Now, firstly, there's email security. Now with Business Premium, you get a really good email security product called Defender for Office 365 Plan 1. That helps protect your business against spam, malware, phishing, impersonation attacks. It helps to protect your business against receiving dodgy attachments and helps with dodgy links on emails. But E5 goes a step further and it includes Defender for Office 365 Plan 2. Now this simply has more security features. Things like simulated phishing attacks so you can test your team on their cyber awareness skills. And if the skills are up to much, it then goes on to offer cyber awareness training. Now without this, you would have to buy a third party tool like no before, which means costing you more money. And then we move on to device security. Now you might traditionally call this antivirus software. Now, Microsoft doesn't do antivirus software, does it? Yes, it does. And it's award winning. Now with Business Premium, you get Defender for Business, which includes really good security software for your devices. It's next generation antivirus, it helps protect you from ransomware, and it includes things like vulnerability management. But of course, as you're learning now, E5 takes it a step further, and you get Defender for Endpoint Plan 2, which includes a lot more security features, such as threat hunting. That means Microsoft cybersecurity professionals will actively look in your environment for existing threats. Next, we move on to a product called Microsoft Entra, which used to be called Azure Active Directory. Now, what is all that about? Well, this product is all about access and identity management. Now, in today's digital world, how do you manage secure access to your data using multiple applications and manage it all centrally? Well, please welcome Microsoft Entra. With Microsoft 365 Business Premium, you get Entra Plan 1. But E5, you get Plan 2, which again is packed full of more features. Like, for example, risk-based conditional access. This is a feature that can help identify dodgy logins. Like, for example, if you log into your Microsoft 365 when you're sat in Leeds, and then five minutes later, someone tries to log on to your Microsoft 365 sat in Tokyo. That's just not possible. Now the seventh and final feature that might make you want to upgrade is a product called Endpoint DLP. Now DLP stands for Data Loss Prevention and Endpoint means a computer or something like that. Now Endpoint DLP is great for organizations who want to embrace a bring your own device policy. Now with Endpoint DLP or DLP in general, you can set rules for how your data is managed, even if it's stored on someone's device. It's a really great tool. So there are my seven features where you might want to upgrade to Microsoft 365 E5. All of these product add-ons are available on separate SKUs. But if you bought them all onto Microsoft 365 Business Premium, you'll be paying a lot more than £52.40. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.